So let's get started on the issue of crime. Mr. Weiser, you've called yourself Colorado's chief law enforcement officer. I remember a picture of you posing with a badge, but you haven't taken responsibility for rising violent crime in Colorado. How can you have that both ways? It's important to distinguish between who's the chief law, enforce law enforcement officer for the 18th Judicial District, Arapahoe County, and who is for the state. Everything in Arapahoe County, car thefts, drug dealing, violent crimes, is prosecuted by my opponent. I prosecute state crimes, like Medicare fraud, like organized crime. That is a critical distinction, because when you say, I'm worried about car thefts, where are they rising? Look at the DAs. They're rising twice as fast in my opponent's jurisdiction than the state as a whole. When you look at the state, you look at organized crime that we go after. You look at Medicaid fraud. So I have authority over a range of crimes where I'm the chief law enforcement officer. But my opponent and other DAs deal with a range of other violent crimes. As somebody who has asserted kind of that broad position of authority on law enforcement, do you take any responsibility for rising crime in Colorado outside of what your office prosecutes? We have tools that we are using. For example, we train police officers. And we went to the legislature and got millions of dollars for additional funds for recruitment, retaining and mental health support for police officers. And we're building, for the first time in 40 years, better police training. We also have gone to the legislature on a range of issues, like porch pirate theft, like catalytic converter theft, like fentanyl trafficking, and gotten new tools to address what are real challenges for Coloradans. Thank you, Mr. Weiser. Mr. Kellner, to Mr. Weiser's point there, I have a question about, uh, in your four counties, based on the stats from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, crimes against people have, have climbed in those counties while you've been DA. Are you responsible for that? So crime has certainly gone up, not just in my district, but across the entire state, Marshall. And that's really the problem. What you fail to hear from Mr. Weiser is any sort of acceptance of his responsibility as the state's chief law enforcement official, as someone who should be standing up for the people and advocating for common sense, tougher on crime policies is going to help us on the front lines, prosecutors and law enforcement actually turn the tide. And I would simply tell you, Marshall, if you go to those statewide stats and you look at the crime rates for my counties, when you look at car theft, when you look at persons crimes and, and, and uh, property crimes, they're actually lower than the entire metro area when you look at it per 100,000 people. Let me flip it real quick. Your attorney general. Uh, the attorney general does not arrest anyone. Right now, you as a district attorney, you have the power to decide if someone's charged with a crime for those public safety issues. So how does an attorney general lower the crime rate? Has to use the bully pulpit. Has to get in front of the, the legislature and say, look, what's happening right now is not working for the state of Colorado. And here's an example. My opponent advocated for a bill that lowered the penalties for car thieves at a time when we're number one in the country for car theft. My opponent advocated for a bill that actually allowed convicted felons, including car thieves and drug dealers, to possess guns again at a time when we're facing a 25-year high in the violent crime rate. Now, the attorney general has an obligation, and that's public safety, to stand up for the people and advocate for things that are going to help us hold people accountable. Mr. Weiser, is your opponent mischaracterizing your record in any way? There, He listed a number of specific things that you were on the record for. Kyle, this is an important point. My opponent offered some deceptive attacks, not real solutions. That car theft law he talked about updated a law from 1999 that moved the dividing line between felonies and misdemeanors. It just went into effect last spring. That law is not responsible for car thefts. Based on the value of the car, correct? That's right. right. It Please moves continue. it from 500 to 2,000, taking a 1999 law and updating it. It was supported bipartisan overwhelmingly by DAs. And now it's being cited as why we have car theft. We need to solve problems based on facts. We need to be honest in conversations. The other example he used is another deceptive attack. Take this question about who has access to weapons. There was a bill, it went through the process, unanimously supported by district attorneys of both parties, overwhelming bipartisan Not support. By me. It had 60 crimes that it said if you're having a gun, it's a felony. I want to add car thieves and drug dealers to that list, but I got 60 out of 62. That's a pretty good result for a bill. I took it, my opponent refused to support that bill. We got to solve problems together based on facts. These type of false attacks won't do it. So, Mr. Kellner, you were pointing out that you disagreed with other Republicans on that bill specifically. Why do you think you were unable to convince them that you were right on that? Yeah, this is a really big challenge because it started in the CCJJ. It's sort of a place where they bring together stakeholders to come up with bill ideas. I went to the CCJJ and I said, look, 
if you're going to uh, reverse course on this law to keep convicted felons from possessing guns, you've got to include the top two public safety nexus crimes, things like car thieves and drug dealing when fentanyl is out of control in our state. I advocated there, and the attorney general's own delegate, the person who voted in that CCJJ on the record, voted against that path. That stymied our ability, and as I went forward to the Capitol with uh, chiefs of police from all across the state, we argued as strongly as we could to make that change, to hear him now say that he had somehow Cameron, supported it.